All right, so good morning, you beautiful people, or afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. But this video right here is going to be a quick little overview of my diet, uh, breakfast, pre-workout meal, I guess you could say. Not diet, but just pre-workout meal. I figured I'd take you guys through what I do for pre-workout right now as I train right after my first meal of the day, so this is actually breakfast. And also give you guys an overview as to why I eat what I eat for my breakfast. So. Right now I'm just gonna prepare it in the background and then after I finish preparing it, I will uh, sit down and go over it a bit more in detail to actually tell you guys what it's all about, so. All right, <clears throat> whoa, it's kind of bright. But the uh, breakfast has been completed. I am going to show it to you real quick. And I'm going to give you guys a quick overview as to why we have in here what we have in here. And I have it on my phone as well, so I can just kind of like read it off here and then throw it up there on the screen for you guys as well. But we have 300 milliliter egg whites and then two whole eggs. The egg whites are just for the protein content. There's not really too much nutrition, uh, nutritious value coming from those. However, the whole eggs, we are getting a lot of... Uh, nutrition from the whole eggs and we're getting the fats from the whole eggs as well which will come into play later once I get a bit deeper into why I have here what I have. Then I have 150 grams of bananas. The bananas, I mainly have these for the potassium. Now there are three main things that you need uh, for muscle contraction and uh, nerve function, things along those lines. Uh, three minerals, I believe they are. I believe so, yeah. Potassium, sodium, and calcium. Now the bananas, they're giving me the potassium I need for right away in the morning since I'm getting up and uh, training right after this meal. Then I also have 100, I mean 240 milliliters of al almond milk where I'm getting my calcium from for my training. And then I'm also having uh, my sodium, uh, iodized sodium, iodized salt uh, sprinkled on everything for my sodium to help with the nerve function and the uh, contraction of muscle throughout the training. So there's why I also have the banana in here and then why I also have the uh, almond milk. Then I have 45 grams of cream of rice. These are just quick digesting carbs, carbs that I can digest really easily and get into the system. That way I have something to fuel my workout. Now going back to the fats from the eggs, the reason I have the fats in there is to kind of help slow down the release of the carbs throughout my workout. So. That way, while I'm training, I have a consistent uh, release of the carbohydrates in my bloodstream and blood sugar can stay relatively uh, simple, not simple, but steady, I guess you could say. That way I have good energy throughout the whole entire workout and good pump throughout the whole entire workout. And the reason for that is because fats, they slow down digestion. These are healthy fats for the most part and they're also loaded with nutrients. Then I have some cabbage here. Cabbage, cabbage is just for volume, as I'm a big eater, former fat boy. I uh, like to eat food, so I just have some cabbage in there. I like cabbage. Uh, cabbage also has fiber in it as well, and a lot of other nutrients. It's pretty uh, nutrient-dense, uh, leafy vegetable, so it's good in that sense as well. Then, last but not least, we have cinnamon. Now, this is not your typical store-bought cinnamon. This is actual cinnamon cinnamon. The reason I have this in here, I have about, I think it's half a teaspoon, so about four grams of uh, the cinnamon in here is for blood sugar regulation. Now the reason one would worry about blood sugar is just because it's a good indication of how well your body is uh, utilizing nutrients. So cinnamon, it helps with, uh, helps your body utilize nutrients a bit better and keep uh, blood sugar levels, blood glucose levels a bit lower so it does. So you'll be using these carbs, pushing these carbs into the muscle, using them a lot better than you would if you had a higher blood glucose level. Then I also have some psyllium husk in here. One serving psyllium husk, that's just a fiber supplement that helps with stool movements, helps with keeping you full, and things along those lines. So main takeaways from my breakfast or my pre-workout meal is one, get your uh, minerals in. So the, uh, I believe they're minerals at least, your sodium, calcium, potassium. A lot of people are deficient in calcium and potassium, and these are main drivers in uh, helping with contraction and recovery, especially, and uh, nerve function as well. So you wanna have these in before your training. Then also stay hydrated. Uh, sodium will help hold onto that water, so it will. 
so you're hydrated for your workout, especially if you're training right after this first meal. Then we also have our quick digesting carbs. So make sure you have quick digesting carbs. Make sure you have some sort of protein and then some sort of healthy fat to kind of help slow down the release of those carbs throughout your workout. And uh, yeah, the cinnamon, that's optional. You don't need need that. Same with the fiber. It's just something I add, add in for uh, health. And then I also do sprinkle on like some uh, stevia on top of the banana and the uh, cream of rice as well, just for flavor. But aside from that, that is my pre-workout meal. Uh, this is my first meal of the day. If you are someone that trains after a couple meals, you probably don't need all of this stuff in one meal. I train right after this meal, so I try to get in all of those minerals and uh, just make sure I'm fully loaded on everything I need for a solid training session beforehand. So that's why I have it all right here. Say for your first meal, if you have two meals before your training, your first meal you have like some almond milk and uh, you know, cereal with banana and there you go you have your calcium and potassium in already so your pre-workout meal could literally just be like cream of rice with a little bit of egg, uh, egg whites some sort of protein and maybe a little bit of fats uh, if you split it up that way but i only have one meal before training so i kind of get everything in this uh, one meal thing that i do want to say is that these are foods that you don't have to have these foods specifically but i would say aim for foods that have those nutrients and those few things that i mentioned so these foods right here are foods that I like, which is why I have them. And then they're also foods that digest easy for me, which is why I have them. So these foods right here, they're not like the best food. There is no such thing as like the best food. It's the best, the best food is the best food that uh, sits well in your stomach, digests well, and has some nutrients in it, has what you need in it basically. So I had someone ask on an earlier video what the best carb was. There is no best carb, so there isn't. Uh, the best carb is whichever carb you find works best for your body, basically. Some people, they can eat rice. Personally, I can't eat rice. I can do cream of rice, but if I eat rice, it keeps me constipated. Some people can eat potatoes. I love potatoes. They're loaded with potassium, so they are, and other nutrients. But other people can't because it gives them digestive issues. So the uh, find foods that work best for you and uh, just kind of hit like all those check boxes and you'll be good to go but anyways that's all for me hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of my pre-workout meal and the ins and outs of why is why it is the way it is i shall catch you guys in the next one